let's move on to see if tea can help in cancer prevention and reduction. This is often a very controversial topic in healthcare because there are extra legal restrictions about discussing cancer and alternative approaches, but the meta-analysis is pretty clear. So let's look at what has been published rather than any opinion of my own. A large umbrella review published in 2020 in Advances of Nutrition concluded that the studies showed significant associations with lower risk in gastrointestinal tract cancers like oral, gastric, and colorectal, breast cancer, gynecological cancers, as well as leukemia, lung cancer, and thyroid cancer. To be clear, you have these individual studies with their own conclusions. Then you have meta-analysis, which select a number of studies according to their own criteria of quality and compare methods and results so that we can get an even bigger picture. Then you have these umbrella reviews, which actually group together the studies and the meta-analysis to get an even wider picture and hopefully provide even, even stronger confidence in the results. Here is a chart of some of the key numbers showing the risk reduction of drinking tea compared to no tea drinking in some particular types of cancer in the larger studies and the meta-analysis. It is important to say that the dose and the type of tea varies in the different studies, so you can find the citations to the review in the description of this video, and then you can dive in to dig deeper if you want to. But look at those figures. Makes me wanna drink another guy one full of tea. Another big umbrella review published in the Molecular Nutrition and Food Research Journal found that consuming six cups of green tea per day decreased the risk of gastric cancer by 21%, but that the risk decreased even more to 41% when drinking tea over 25 years. Similarly, they found that the reduction of risk of liver cancer was highest when, cons when consuming up to four cups per day for more than 20 years. This again shows that the quantity and consistency of tea drinking is key to get the best possible health outcomes. The same paper found that the consumption of black tea was linked to a 21% reduction in the risk of dying from cancer in general. So you can see that there is plenty of evidence which associates regular tea drinking to a reduced risk of cancers. So let us be unafraid to proclaim that tea has anti-cancer potential.